There we go. Can you hear me? Finally. Welcome back. Hey, man. Holy shit. How you doing? How, how's everything? I'm sick, dude. I've got, a, I've got the flu. My kids got the flu. I've been fucking... Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, it's all dicked. Yesterday was just horrific. I just spent... I spent the day, like, actively... Every time it fell, got out of a bit more, got out of a bit more. Like, actually, having been here and done that, I'm like... Okay, well, we're not going to liquidate this account. Um, <laughs> we're doing this live. We're not going to liquidate it. We're going to fucking. Yeah. We're going to because I bought the first the first dip. I bought in Ethereum, and then like two hours yep. later, I realized, well, okay, we're going to fucking bail out of this. Sorry, guys, my bad. And then yep. I start, and then I started getting out of my exposures, and um, yep. I ended up. I gradually got out of about about half of everything on the way down set a stop and check this out check how close the, the stop like i woke up and, I, and this is my stop and this is bitcoin Fuck. okay but, and yep. i was like I, had, I i wasn't wearing my glasses when i first went up i was like did, did i get here did i not get here it's like millimeters from the fucking stop fuck fuck fair enough yeah um but uh, that's okay. The game is the game. Um, you know, I'm, I'm still in survival. Capital wasn't capital wasn't touched. Uh, uh, it was actually good trade. Actually, good trading and fucking Finrev crushed it. I know, I know, I know. I was looking at Finrev and 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 I was so like on Friday. I was because I was measuring how many uh, short position against how many long positions we had in Finrev on Friday. I, was fully launched. I didn't see this, and I'm like. Finra, if you can't come on, fucking get some longs. Let's fucking go. We're gonna rock this thing. And he's and like, nah, dude, you, nah, dude, you're fucking smoking your own supply here. You high. Fuck, we're gonna show this. Know. Once again, Finra is smarter than me. Once again, of course. And and this is this is one of the things that I ah, fucking struggling a lot with the with the trades, you know, because I've been calling the trades and all the sort of stuff. But I think long term. Uh, it's hard, really tough. You know what I mean to to figure out all the ups and downs, as you know. Yeah, cool, it's yeah, now, right? it's because... so what it is is hard time, easy time. Man. Markets go through a period where, like, there's mm -hmm. almost nothing we can do that's wrong. Mm -hmm. And then, Which... and then the tide turns, and then if you push the pace when the tide turns, you just post loser after loser. Correct. Correct. So I'm 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 just obviously thinking um how to move forward like you know if I keep doing the things that I'm doing but it's just let me because let me show you the new sort of lock um that I oh because all these new positions you opened in the last week must have just got fucking clown raped right yeah pretty much but the ones that we had as well some of them are good still good but some of them are like still the old ones so I'm just wanna sort of go through uh how let's we going look, to manage let's have, look, let's have a look at because, what we got because essentially we do have a lot of stuff uh because i'm still but, holding i'm still holding a pretty substantial um spot bag of all this stuff that i that i didn't touch yesterday because i think enough. i think the bull market is still on we're just in the middle of the trading range i think that was really quite a surprise bearish day um did you know what happened or did you have any, like, I just came back yes last night and I'm just, <laughs> so I was looking at the market last night. I said, oh, fuck, man. Tomorrow is going to be a really interesting day. Tomorrow is so, going to be, fuck. I, and I didn't see it coming. Yeah. Um, and I don't know anyone else who saw it coming. What's surprising is that my mean bags held up better than anything. Mm -hmm. I noticed that. I noticed that. Memes are, are, are holding up well. So essentially, uh, are you looking at my screen now? Yeah. All right, so I'm just uh, I was updating this thing as of today. So essentially, because the the tracker that we have is really confusing, right? We don't know where we are in terms of portfolio management and stuff like that. So this is sort of the new one that uh, that we planning to release uh, because we 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 are in all this stuff right uh, since last this is early this year. So this is all the stuff that we're in. Uh, essentially, what I did is sort of calculated the, an entry position like every time that we enter a trade is sort yeah, of yeah, it's gonna be a hundred bucks and then you do have like because we do have um all the secondary entries and positions and stuff like that so okay, this will calculate pretty much everything for us right let's go through Woo. so 
So Wu, uh, we are down 16% from the average price, essentially, uh, for the two entries. So this uh, is- Are this you a buyer the... or a seller of Wu at 30 cents? I think you're a buyer. Yeah, uh, let me just put my trading view so it makes more sense. Uh, Femex token, let's have a look. All wow, right. that's, that looks great. Um, Femex because, token held up. Yeah, really Femex well. looks really good. So Femex uh, token, we are 62. So essentially, if I add everything, like if I add as if we had the full portfolio and we added $100, we're down, we're, we're actually on profit 2%. Which is not, okay. you know, is 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 good, but well, obviously most people aren't going to do that because they're going to fuck it up. Okay, so let's just go through. Let's just go through them and decide what we're keeping and what we're not. Wu, I think we're keeping. PT, we're keeping. Pendle, yep. Pendle, Pendle looks actually pretty good from our entry. That's actually keeping that one. Yeah, I think, and the the TVL on Pendle is 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 really good too. Honda. Let me just put that the profit here. All right. Honda so, looks good. Honda looks good, man. Yep, yeah, Honda looks good. I agree. Uh, Solana looks good as well. So we're still up. Uh, obviously, um, yeah, Honda is the is our biggest winner. Like essentially, we're two hundred forty five percent up. So yep. so that's okay. a big a biggest one. Uh, so Sui moving. Sui looks crappy, but it looks like it's ready to bounce, right? Yeah, it doesn't like especially you know with the trade leverage trade that you did, it's not that bad. It's sort of you know that the, the thing on Sui we had two entries, so there's two entries, uh, one on Feb and another one in March. So essentially, uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I'm cool with Sui. Yeah, I'm cool uh, with that one. Well. We yeah. got out of the leverage trade. Um, Nia. So Nia, we're up a hundred and two, so that's fine. Uh. So I think that looks good. Um, INJ has has been really strong coin yesterday. Yeah, yeah. INJ held up pretty good from the range. So so on. INJ like is clean. Good. Yep. Uh, IMX is um, IMX is not that bad. Uh, I don't know much about this one though, but uh, but it's uh, holding from the low, like is uh, Let, yeah let's 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 look at the uh open interest on imx i think this one needs a needs a close look um can you make it a can you make it a bit longer like a uh, six hour or something sure Okay, so we see some accumulation there at the lows, right? We saw definitely. The um, let's let me just load it up. Okay, so that one actually looks really great. Yeah, this one doesn't look that bad, um, and. I mean, there was the the topping in retrospect was pretty clear, but this one this one's looking this one's looking good. I wouldn't sell that. Okay, what's next? Uh, CFX CFX were down twenty three percent. Okay, this one could be on the chopping block here. I reckon. Yeah, this one. This one it, it didn't have much of a recovery at all, like I was expecting. Yeah, it's, it's not good, bad yeah. from the. It's good. Right. Oh, oh, look at the open interest though. It's rising as it's going down, so that's shorts getting in there. No, we got to get we got to dump CFX. All right. Let me just highlight that one. BNB. Fuck up! I want some BNB. Yeah, Mitch. <laughs> yeah. Also, um, I mean, we, you know, we wanted a dip. We wanted a dip. We wanted a dip. Should I buy this breakout? Just wait for the dip. Not like that. Not like that. No. <laughs> so uh, BNB is still 81% up. Uh, kudos. Uh, kudos. I, I think BNB is a really strong buy here. 
I think so. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I agree. So BNB is still like it went up towards those highs, but it's actually at the same level that it was last week. So I still liking this one. So BNB, yeah, still good. Uh, kudos. I think KuCoin is the chart for this, which. Okay, so that held up surprisingly well. Surprisingly well. So, so yeah. Uh, so I think, and, and we're only down 14% from entry. Uh, so, and it didn't, I think okay. this one could, could one be really good, man. Like this one held up pretty good. Bill two. That's really not bad. Mm. You don't sell at the bottom of a trading range you want to buy. Um, yeah, this one doesn't have any perps, though, which is good as well. So no one can actually short it. That's probably why. That's and I've why. Been, and, I, and, I, and, I've been, and I've been like my next step. I want to get this uh, tracker out this week. But then my next week, next week, something that I'm planning is something that I've been noticing is Coins that don't have perps, you know, they're very, very steady. And then once the perp comes oh. into play. Well, you understand right? why. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah, that definitely, definitely is all the manipulation happening. Yeah. But then. You can't run a scam without a perp. <laughs> you know, so so until there's a perp, there's no, there's no reason for anyone to be running scams. So there's less scams. Exactly right. Exactly right. So what I want to do, like. Well, let's go through this, but uh, let me uh, let me let me let me tell what's my plan for this so one. Phil, uh, Phil, uh, it's actually thirty percent down. Um, Phil, Phil looks like a de a decent spot though. I, I mean, you wouldn't sell that there; you you buy that there. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, if it breaks so, below, we're going to sell it though. Um, all right, CLO, it's CLO. I have no opinion about this. CLO. You? Uh, the only opinion that I have is like it's holding up pretty well from these lows. Uh, it, it hasn't it didn't break breaking. Uh, it didn't break to new lows. No. So we were we were we were in that place before with this one and hasn't fallen the, down the cliff. So uh, it's not bad. I don't love it. Uh, but it's eighteen percent down. Yeah, I don't. I don't love it. I don't love it. But also, I don't hate it either. Yeah. All right, let's keep that one. Uh, Ape is the one that I'm really don't like it. Forty six percent down. Um, so yeah, Ape, let's... so Ape, however, is holding down that level. So 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 from the first crash, like or, or the first dump, you know, it didn't go down. So it's holding pretty well on this level. You know what I mean? Like okay. uh, why? So how about with this one, we sell halvesies? Yep, that makes sense. Because that's that's what I was going to sort of do today. Um, starts like de-risking and then getting some profits from the good ones and getting some like start selling some stuff and uh, across the board. Like even if we have a profit, otherwise we'll be selling. Or what was your thought on that? No, you don't. You don't sell winners just because the market is down. You, you, okay. you, sell, you sell losers when the market is down that you wouldn't buy. Uh, so the, okay. the real question is, do you do you think the bull market is over? No, I don't think so. I Neither definitely do I. don't think so. No, I definitely think, don't think so. If you don't so. think the bull market is over, selling mm -hmm. unleveraged spot bags just because they're down for some random reason is a mistake. What All right. you should All right. do is sell underperforming coins that have been unreasonably brutalized, that, are, mm -hmm. that, that, that look like they've taken too much of a punch that have damaged charts. Most okay. of the stuff you're telling me is not damaged charts. Now, so far it's all holding pretty well. Like in terms of all the lows, is I've seen just a couple. Uh, let's have a look at Rune. Um, yeah, I got a pretty big position in this cock socket too. So Rune still, it looks bullish. Like long term, looks pretty bullish. Obviously, we we enter here, um, and then yeah, we're down forty six percent on that on this one. So I mean, that's uh, I mean that's altcoins. This one. 
I mean, on a charting basis, we're back where a lot of mm. we're back where a lot of things have changed hands before. I'm happy to hold this one, but I'm also happy to sell half if you think that's sensible. Okay. Uh, yeah, I still like run. I still like yeah, it. I, I, uh, I like it as I like it as a coin. I like it as a potential market leader. I like it. Do you want to sell half or you want to keep it? Because I, I I'd be leaning. To, yeah, yeah. Let's have a look at this. Mm. Can check. We well, we've got that. We've got the big liquidation. Mm -hmm. And we're retesting the liquidation lives basically. Can you show me our five minute chart of that? Let's see what it looks like today. Let's see what the volume is like. Buying pressure coming back in. Let me just mm -hmm. quickly lock up CVD for that. Sure. James did some work on CBD today, um, and it looks oh, amazing. That's gonna be that's gonna be interesting. I that has a lot of weight, definitely. I was looking at I was looking into it. Um, yeah, this macrocephalopod hit me up last night, and he said, "Are you are you guys using C CBD as a as a uh, um, are you using are you using CBD as a, as a feature?" Okay, so the CBD is still still quite down for Rune. That's that's like a dead cat bounce, but it looks very different on the futures. The futures are accumulating, whereas the spot buy hasn't come back yet. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's prudent to sell half of Rune. Okay. Yeah, I haven't heard boo out of in ages. AOS looks okay. Yeah, AOS looks okay, but uh, we're yeah, down 36. It's just we bought right on the top on AOS. Um, yeah, but I think it's going to be okay. Like, like, like that's it. It's not relevant. Okay, so it's not relevant where we bought it for. Mm -hmm. What's relevant is would you buy it today? Do you think the AI narrative is good? Do you think it's the best of the best of the AI coins? It or FET is is the best of the AI coins. What do you think of the narrative? Yeah, no, yeah, we're still on, we're still on. Um, I think this was a good, good flash, a leverage flash. Uh, I think and, it's a good leverage flash. And then that's about it. Like it's still holding pretty much everything on the same levels. Like you can cool. actually see what happened in terms of all the leverage that was taken out of the market, man. One like, I don't huge. like is Gal. Let's have a look. Yeah, I had a look at that one and Gal looks horrible. Um. That one's gonna go. This actually, yeah. Now I've got some of that in my spot account. Um, ENA, weird one. What's the funding rate like for? Let me load up the the CBD stuff too. Because I'm super bullish on this project, right? Yeah, me too. Uh, uh, me too. Me too. Especially with all the staking and stuff like that that is happening. It's just, yeah, it's just the manipulation is just being so. And I was so tempted to short a few things, you know what I mean, on Friday, but it was Friday and then I didn't want to. Yeah, and you're uh, going yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to. Okay, so um, the CBD is still completely wrecked. The spot is still wrecked. Um, Daily chart looks like us. Um, I got out of it in my in my leverage trading account like three or four days ago. You get it? I I I was I was putting all the stuff in the in 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 the log. You you got actually stopped out on that one, did you? Because obviously got, you moved the stop up. I got and... stopped out at point nine two six. Actually, let me check. Okay. Uh, let me let me check the uh, the trade history. Let me show my screen. Uh, 
Um, so you can see inner close long 93317. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I sent the alert to close the stop for that. So so uh, that was a pretty good trade. Banked 1300 in profit. No big deal. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, you can share your screen. Sure. Um, so I... I mean, Ina is close to the to the bottom lows. Mm. So yeah, okay. I'm so, so what's the feeling that you got from it? Is I don't know, right? Yeah, but I still like it. Like it looks, especially because it's a brand new stuff. It's sort of I like it because it's a brand new thing. Brand new things can run. Mm -hmm. I think we've got to set a sign in this a line in the sand if it closes below the the lows there. I think we yeah. can cut bait or cut half of it, and we should probably decide in advance. All right. I think cut half will be a good idea. I think so essentially, we're, we're going to cut half of the whole position, right? Because we have two positions and two, two positions in, uh, whole, cut half of, of the whole entry, right? So, yeah, right now we're down 35%. Uh, yeah. So, let me cut half. Okay. All right. Um, um, that was one of the ones which is not bad. Is um is still like it's pretty close to the entry. Um, so I don't. I I just want to stop you here. You see what we're doing? We're 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 not endlessly chewing our brains over this stuff. We're taking one very quick focused look at each position, making yeah. a hard decision. And yep. ruthless motherfuckers are move on. So they, like this is the way that, that we should do it. So on mm -hmm. almost it, it's held up fucking fantastic. That is a yep. stone call. Yeah, I really like this one. I only went half a position in this one, so happy to hold it as well. So yeah, that's 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 good. Um so that's good. W. Uh do, w, w W uh it's in a trading seven. range after a launching pump. It's come back to support. I'd probably hold that. Yeah, this one I'll hold it as well. And I went we only went half percent and yeah, half of the position on that one. So so far so good. So ton, ton amazing. Held up really yeah, good. Ton, ton's looking pretty good, man. Like ton looking pretty good. Yeah, so so far so good. That was happy with that. Uh CETA didn't, didn't break new lows, that's pretty bullish. I keep that one. Yeah. Uh, which one? Ton. Ton, we keep that, right? Yeah. That Ton, one. Ton, we keep Zeta. Um, uh, keep... Zeta, this is one that I fucking I like, but I don't. Um, it's roughly right there on the bottom. So I think if we comes down below here, we can yeah, yeah, cut yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, I think we I think we cut it if if it goes below. Peppy looks uh, fucking dope. It looks really good. Pepe, Ton, both of those look amazing, really. Yeah. Uh, Pepe actually held up pretty well on our entry. So, so far, so good on that one. Uh, AR. AR. This is, um, went down quite a bit. Uh, Ooh, I've got a big position in this cocksucker, too. Yeah. Um, it, look, it's only, it didn't really go down quite a bit. It went, it, it's down back like roughly to the middle of the trading range. Yeah, I still like I mean, AR. It's a small cap thing. I, yeah. I'd hold that one. AVAX. AVAX is holding pretty well on those levels. Definitely is buying power over there. So I still... Yeah, yeah I buy, I'm a buyer of AVAX here, yeah. All right. Uh, token. Um, token. I don't know anything about token. So token is another uh, RWA stuff. Um, actually went up pretty good. It's not that bad. Turn like this one not is very bad. sensitive to drops. Uh, it's but a it's small actually, coin. It's going to be sensitive. Yep, yep. But I still like it. Like token, it could. It's only twenty seven percent down, so it's, it's not huge, man. Like in terms of yeah. I mean, Whiff didn't get hit too badly yesterday. Let's have a look at Whiff. Yes, everything on the bottom on the same, like it's yep. actually even better than than 
than when the first crash happened. So still good. I think like it's still this, good. It's, yeah. it, that, that just needs some market love. Um, Foxy looks Foxy. amazing. Yeah, Foxy looked good, man. Happy, happy, happy I got really, in, really into really that happy. one. Um, yeah. Very um, great. So yeah, this one looks really good, man. I think Fox is going to be one of the greatest Fox ones right there. Awesome. So, so we've got a lot of clues here. We've got like the ones that took a punch and just laughed it off. Those are the, those are the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Benry, I've got no strong opinion about either way. What do you think? Uh Benry, that was a uh, uh, Ian Ian oh. coin. Um, it's pretty freaking bad, but. It looks pretty okay from that perspective. Let me just look at the spot. Okay. So it's holding up pretty well. Let's see. It depends on what the, what is it gonna do around these levels. I think if if not, there's if if we don't see any power here, then I think we should cut it. But let me have a look. Because the the the, the, the what happened with Vanry, I was um uh, the pair. The PEP actually was released a few days ago, like on the 14th of March, like one <laughs> month ago. So I think we are on the verge. Uh, it got released right here. We are on the verge of the buying stuff. So I think this could go pretty fast. Like this could. Wait, let's hold this one. Uh, hey, Dupe is has made three higher lows since the had uh, two higher lows since the since the first one. Yeah, fucking Jupe is in is is it is he has a lot of following and he's had he's, he's, this guy's been doing a lot of stuff with Jupe. So so I think this could be a good one. I don't like the level where the where it's at, but the fact that it's holding pretty well right there yeah, gives me a that. clue. Yeah, it's not that. Uh I mean, MNT you know, don't know anything about other than it's a high beta coin that everyone seems to love for some reason. Yeah, it's it's uh because it's a it's a it's a chain in itself. So so this one essentially uh, I, I, buy I close below those recent lows that we have to cut this one. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And Moch, I got into Moch, but um I think it looks great. The, yeah, this one looks great. Uh, we got around here, but it still looks pretty, pretty good. The fact that it didn't drop dramatically. Right, it only thirty three percent, and this mock thing is, oh, yeah. Right. When when the market comes back, I think comes back quick. So, all right, cool, 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 perfect. All right, I, I'm gonna send you this video. Can you post this in the group and uh, yep, and uh, make those updates, get everyone known. I think we should post this publicly. This is a really uh, a yeah. Let's, let's go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, so I th I think the process for us is. Let's cut the worst of the losers. We're like we cut only cut four or five. You don't want to sell into a market like this um, because it's been unreasonably beaten. Um, mm -hmm. I think uh, I think we wait until we see a bit of recovery. I don't think the bull market is open. I don't think that's a reasonable thing to think. Um, you know, if we look at it, if we look at our chart, we're just doing trading range stuff. We went three days up, three days down. We're back to where are we really in Bitcoin? We're back to where we were. Um, we're back to where we were a month ago. That's all part of the course. Let's look at let's look at the old coins. Old coins all took a dump yesterday. Mm -hmm. Um but where are we? We're still well above those previous lows. I think we're okay here. Yeah, Just. it looks it doesn't look yeah. great, but I think we could. Uh, we still, yeah, I think uh, I'm, I, yeah, I'm in the same boat. I'm in the same boat. Um, awesome. Yep. Good, 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 good. Perfect. All right, bro. Hey, this was a great session. I really enjoyed it. No, good. I think we, we could uh, do something like that again next week just to, you know, get, especially sure. when things are, uh, are going like this. I want, every, I want everyone to see our process and see how it works. And we're, we're not agonizing over everything. We're going fast, fast, fast. Mm -hmm. fast. Mm -hmm. I was still good. Like if, in terms of the whole portfolio, it looks good. Uh, it you know what I mean? If, if we look at I, uh, I think it's, whole, it's, it, it's not about where is it today. It's about where, where is it when we sell it. Like, mm -hmm. like I'm here for a bull market. Eyes wide open for any of this stuff to work. We need a bull market. Mm -hmm. Needs to kick off. We're in prime position. Perfect.
Perfect. No, and, and and we're still waiting on some of them, on most of them, on some of them, like I'll say 30% of our positions are waiting, so that's fine. Um, um, no, that's great, man. Um, I wanna I wanted to have a chat with I don't know if you wanna stop the recording on 